Freya's Pavi. Oh my god. Oh my god. I threw my cell phone on the bed after I repeatedly watched the viral videos of me and Quentin during Clara's beach party. It has only been uploaded for a few hours and the amount of shares and comments online is insane. I buried my face on the pillow trying to remember what else had happened that night. I clearly remembered kissing Quentin, but prior to that, I barely had any idea. The memories of last night slowly crept in my head. I recalled dancing with my newfound friends, and then a guy wanted to dance with me, but then Quentin suddenly appeared and shouted something I don't remember much. Wait, what did he say? I watched the video again. Get your hands off my wife. Quentin screamed at the guy's face, scaring him away, and then I began dancing on him. All I know is I've been too flirty with Quentin and it's caught on that video that is making rounds in the social media. What should I do? Nervous and worried because of what my parents and the blacks would think about me. I paced back and forth thinking about a possible solution, but my head was empty and throbbing because of a hangover. It was just one night of having fun. A drunken mistake on my part and I almost risked it all. My reputation is now tainted. I was about to go back to bed to call mom when I heard some voices outside. There's a commotion with my heart beating so loud, I ran to the living room only to see Lucian and Scott teaming up against Quentin. Lucian pushed Quentin to the wall. What the fuck do you really want to happen, Quentin? Do you really want to hurt Tyler over and over again? I stepped forward to help him, but Kurt pulled my arm saying, I should not get involved. Boys can get rowdy and I might get hurt in the process. You know what, Quint? Isn't it enough that you heard by agreeing to this marriage? Do you really have to upset Tyler with those videos of you and Freya? Scott asked, who's seriously looking at Quentin with a glint of hatred in his eyes. I waited for Quint's answer, but he just stood there staring at nowhere and not even speaking a word. If you really want to do this, then be a man to Tyler. It's either you cut all of her connection with her or you'll go to her now and explain everything. Can you do that? Lucian challenged him. I looked at Quentin, who briefly glanced at me before nodding and rushing off to his car. I felt numbed at that instant. I was rooted on the spot, holding my tears from falling. Nothing has changed. It would always be Tyler above else. Quentin's priority will always be her. I thought the pain he caused me was enough to last me for the day, but I was wrong when my parents together, with Quentin's parents, arrived in the house looking for the two of us. Mom, Dad, my hands began trembling due to anxiousness. I can't look them in the eyes, seeing the dismay in them. I'm really disappointed with you, young lady. Dad said in a repressed anger. Your mom and I trusted you to be responsible, but look what you've done. You dragged our family's name into that cheap mess. I bowed my head in chagrin. But it was her who didn't think. Coming to that party is one thing. Getting drunk and doing those things while people are watching is another. My dad again. Where's Quentin? Why is he letting Freya take all the blame when there were two of them in this mess? He went to Tyler. Scott answered. She's upset too because of this incident. He should be with Freya at this crucial time. He knows it will happen. What is he thinking? Hearing that is like putting salt on my wound. It's like everyone is rubbing on my face. The fact that if Tyler and I are drowning, Quentin will not hesitate to jump right into the water to save Tyler. Quentin's Pavi. I found Tyler in her apartment using the key she gave me. It's a mess. Things were strewn all over her house. Broken vases lined up the floor while she's drinking her third bottle. Her eyes were red, her face drenched in tears, and her hair in disarray. What the fuck was that, huh, Quentin? Get your hands off my wife. She mimicked me. Really? Your wife? So you won't break the engagement? You will really marry that bitch. I breathed hard and pulled her down to the sofa to calm her down. Yes, I'll marry Freya. I have decided that I will not break off the engagement with her, and she's not a bitch. She has a name. It's Freya. No. She stood up again and reached for another vase and threw it on the wall. I will not let you. You will not marry that whore. You love me, Quentin. You told me I am the only woman that you will ever love. That wedding is not happening. I will do everything to stop you from marrying that bitch. Tyler, please. You know how complicated the situation is, but she won't hear the reason from me. Her mind is already hell-bent to believe what she wanted to believe. 
What did that whore do to you? Did she seduce you? Is she that good in bed? Tell me, Quint. Tyler, you are out of the line. Freya is not that kind of woman. You should know that out of all the people. You are her best friend. She hugged me suddenly and began sobbing loudly. All I know is that she stole you from me. Quint, please, don't marry her. Eventually, I would have chosen you instead of Scott and Lucian in the end. Please, Quint, let's fix this. It's too late now, Tyler, I said, pushing her away, despite the fact that I'm also hurting deep inside. This is the only best way I see for us to be able to move forward. It's hard knowing that she could have really chosen me from the start, but instead led my brothers on. I'm formally breaking up with you, I finally said, my voice breaking. It's the night of my engagement party with Quentin, but there is scarcely any makeup on my face. Since the incident, which consequently died down, when the public has seen another viral video to feast upon, I haven't talked and seen Quentin looking at myself in the mirror. I began to doubt my decision, though I also know that it's too late to turn my back on something that the two families have strongly committed to. Taking one more long breath, I stood up to call my makeup artist to begin my preparation. But I was transfixed on my position when I saw Tyler slowly closing the door on her back. She's wearing that smug smile on her face and dark circles circled her eyes. Busy preparing, aren't we? Crossing arms, she languidly walked to my side and stared at the makeup kits and the jewelry on the board. You're busy preparing for your party later with Quentin Black. Tyler, how did you was all I could say. BR, and I gulped and averted her sharp eyes. I'm so guilty right now in front of her. Bari, how did I enter your room? Is that what you're asking me? She gave out an empty laugh. Why, am I not welcome anymore? But you always call me to come here for a bestie overnight stay while we watch your favorite ugly good for nothing wrong. Calm movies. It's your engagement party, and yet you didn't invite your one and only best friend. No, no, that's not what I meant. Come on, Tyler. My tears started filling up my eyes. It's painful to see our friendship end like this. She shrugged her shoulders and continued walking across the room. She stopped in front of a photo frame. My mother hung in my room and smirked when she saw my photos with Quentin. Wow, wow. She started clapping on my face. What can I say but congratulations, my dear best friend. Finally, you got what you wanted from the very start. You like Quentin, don't you? You like him even when you know he is my mate, you bitch. She slapped me hard on the face and pulled my hair. But I didn't fight. I endured the pain and let her be. If this is her way of letting out her anger on me, it's okay. I can take it because I know that I hurt her too. You thought I didn't know that you've always liked my boyfriend? She asked, gasping. I know you always wanted him for yourself. You're always shy around him. I thought it's just nothing but, after the announcement, I connected the dots. Is that why you befriend me? So that you could watch my moves and steal my boyfriend from me? I knew it! You were always envious of me, Freya. You're jealous of me because many boys like me, because I'm popular and beautiful and smart. Did you beg your rich mama to make him yours? Did you seduce my boyfriend into your bed? Tears started streaming down my face. How could she think of me like that? I can accept the other things she said, but not this. My conscience is clear. You know I'm not like that, Tyler. I can't do that to you. I didn't steal him from you. I didn't know that my parents were planning to arrange this marriage. I swear I tried to stop it because I don't want to hurt you and Quentin. I saw how you love each other. God knows how many times I talked to my parents to end this whole thing. But they refused, so I asked Quentin, but he told me he can't because he's obligated by his own parents to marry me. Tyler, please understand us. We're just victims, too, of this circumstance. Believe me, please. I'm telling you the truth. Believe you. She scoffed. How can I believe someone who has mischievously taken a boyfriend from her own best friend, acting all innocent so people would fall to her whims? You are one spoiled kid just because you have money. And Freya, you're right when you said that Quentin and I love each other. She began walking around me, grinning every time her eyes would look at how I hid my face from her. Do you think you have succeeded already? 
Quentin will not like you, Freya. You will always be in my shadow, forever proving yourself for him, but never, ever living up to the standards that I am. You will beg for his love that he can never give to you. On your first night together, he won't even look or touch and kiss you. I am his mate, his one and only love. We're bonded together. I know him from his head to his toe. We've done everything we could possibly do. You can never surpass the memories that we've made. Poor you little ugly Freya. Do you know what he told me? That he'll only love one woman in his lifetime, and that is me? Only me. I nodded and wiped my tears. I'm very much aware of that fact. She didn't have to tell me anymore. This marriage will be a nightmare for you, that you'll regret that you ever agreed to this. You might be her future wife in the papers, but I am the one he will always love. Tears swell again in my eyes. I completely understand you, Tyler. I really do. I hurt you. I was the one who did this to our friendship. I'm sorry, Tyler. That's right. You hurt me so much. You hurt me to the point that I don't recognize you as my friend. I'm, I'm really, really sorry for everything. I know you can't possibly forgive me, but I'm still wishing that you could find it in your heart someday. Tyler walked up to the door, but before she could leave, she stared at me begrudgingly first. You're right, Freya. I can't possibly forgive you for betraying me. From now on, you're not my friend anymore because I don't ever want to be associated with a snake like you are.